Hello. This is Fusion Chip, and uh, this is my first Bedini replication. Uh, built with a an old hard drive uh, disk. See, it has uh, magnets glued inside of it, and uh, this is a uh, homemade coil that I made. Uh, took an old transformer apart, uh, piece of PVC tubing, and uh, two plastic ends that I glued on. Uh, as you can see, I uh, stuck some uh, welding rods in it and uh, got it all nice and uh, pretty. Uh, I left the welding rods out and uh, actually made a discovery I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but uh, let's get it cranked up here. See it revs up very nicely. And uh, there she's running. Um, she's running off that little motorcycle battery there. Uh, started out with uh, 13 volts. And uh, uh, this is a switch box I made, and I've got uh, a couple of rheostats on it, 10 turn pots, uh, some switches, uh, I'll enable these two. This one here is uh, what I call the uh, kicker switch, it uh, bypasses a resistor in it and uh, causes it so I can speed it up a little. Uh, I am charging bunches and bunches of batteries in uh, in series. Uh, totaling about 53 volts right now uh, into that cap there uh, to keep a load on the system so I don't uh, burn my circuitry up, which is right there. I found out after burning out of, uh, six of those little transistors there uh, that uh, I keep a load on it and uh, then keep the uh, keep the cap on it that I uh, won't do that. I'm going to disconnect uh, the circuit to the battery and you'll see immediately how fast that uh, neon light lights up on that thing. I'll go ahead and hook it back up. Uh, very, very high voltage. We measured almost uh, 280 volts on it uh, before we put the neon on it to keep the charge down. Uh, anyways, my first uh, beginning uh, beginning replication. Uh, yeah, I was telling you about this uh, back here for this coil. I've got a uh, coil I got out of a relay and uh, when we 
flip it over the back. We are now producing another hundred and some volts. I put this shield on it. And uh, this circuit is totally independent. Charging this cap up, which I'm running back into a big, big diode back to the positive of the uh, of the battery and uh, in actuality this uh, cap is maintaining about 15 volts so this uh, particular unit here is uh, self-sustaining uh, runs forever uh, really cool uh, like I said, uh, yeah, this particular circuit, uh, I've got that coil going to a bridge rectifier, and then the bridge rectifier comes over here uh, to this cap. If I uh, pull this uh, hot wire off of the cap, you'll see how fast that neon light lights up and the motor slows down. So I'm going to stick that back on there and then there's my voltage going back to the main battery. Very cool. So that's how I uh, build a self-running Bedini generator. First try. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, uh, I wanted to show you this. Uh, along with my uh, replication here, I uh, noticed I could put a capacitor in series with the trigger circuit. Uh, which I uh, made with the switch here and uh, when I flip that switch watch what happens I have a self oscillating Self-oscillating. Just by adding a capacitor in the trigger circuit. And uh, what's really cool about all this is that this thing even puts out more power. Uh, and uh, my little individual charging coil here that I added on the back. Uh, I take it off uh, its charging cap, it uh, immediately uh, well I actually didn't do that, uh, there we go, right here there we go, I still have it connected to the battery So, uh, as you can see, that neon is fully lit on self-oscillating. I'll go ahead and stick the battery back on its charge. And uh, there you have it.